Hi everyone, this is Mehmo Sheikh and in this video I will discuss about one of the PHP functions which is str post. Because okay, so str pause we use this function for two reasons. One of the use of this str post function is it is used to check whether a substring is exist in a string or not. And the second use is str pause function is also used to find the position of any character or substring in a complete string okay and here you can see this is the syntax okay and the, it takes two arguments first argument is the string and the second argument is the search word okay since the first use of this str pause function is to check whether a substring is exist in the string or not so in the second parameter we need to enter or mention the word that we are looking for and the first parameter will be the string okay here is our string okay i have written a statement as we are finding a word inside a string okay here i have kept str pause str pause function inside an if statement okay here it's taking two arguments the first argument is the string and the second is the word that i'm trying to find inside this complete string okay since i have kept this str pause function inside the if statement so it will evaluate and it will return the output in the form of true or false okay if this particular word present inside this complete string then it will return a value of found okay and else this word does not find inside the string then it will return a value of not found okay so now the first use of str pause is over as it's used for checking or finding whether a substring is exist in a string or not okay here now the second use is this function is used to find the position of any character in a substring okay so here is a string and i'm i want to find the position of d inside this complete string okay since i have the d character present inside this string so it will return the position of that character inside my string okay here also the count of this were count of the each and every character will start from zero okay first character will be indexed as zero and then one two three like that okay so now so it will return a integer value okay so here you can see here inside this uh, syntax this str pause function takes two parameters okay so it will first parameter is the string and the second parameter is the search word okay and it will return an integer value okay and that integer value will get returned inside stored inside this pause variable and then we are displaying that integer value to the user okay and this function are case sensitive okay so if i try to find a word in capital letters it will not return me any result okay since i don't have any capital letter of this word inside my string okay so now let's just check the output okay so now let's refresh see here you can see it is for the first example it's displaying the output as found since the word which i am trying to find is present inside this string okay so if i change it to capital letters from small letters then it will display not found because since that word is present inside the string but the word that i am matching is in the capital letters and this str pause function is case sensitive function so now i'll just undo it okay and here it's displaying the position of this character d okay so the position of this character is this first character is zero second is one two three four five six okay so now it has returned me a value of six which indicates the character over d present on the sixth position okay now if i change it to something else what like function like php okay and let me just change it to h okay and now i refresh it will display not found because that php word is not present inside the string and now it's displaying the value of two see here you can see uh, the h character is present in 
two locations okay the h character is present in the second position and as well as in the seventh eighth and ninth position okay see in the ninth position also we have h and on the second position also we have h so this whenever it finds two characters which are same two same characters then it will return the position of the first occurrence of that character okay so whichever character it finds first then it will return the position of that first find character okay so now these are the uses of str post functions and uh, i hope you understand what are the different uh, uses of str post function and i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing some other string function of php okay thanks for watching